Welcome to this Tutor to You Introduction to Sociology video looking at interactionism. As opposed to the structural theories that we've looked at so far in this series, interactionism is a term given to a collection of different theories that adopt a social action perspective. Rather than take a top-down approach to society, interactionists look to examine how individuals make sense of the world around them, and so focus on smaller groups. They adopt a bottom-up approach, focusing on how individuals interpret the world around them, including the behaviour of others. People are not instinctive creatures, according to interactionists, and look to try to understand how others think and how that reflects upon the individual. They look for social cues as to how to behave, changing their behaviour to fit in with the different social context that they find themselves in. Interactionists suggest that this happens in a number of ways. In any social context, we look for signs and symbols that help us to understand how we should behave and what behaviours to expect from others. Interactionists suggest that society is complex, with any given situation having multiple interpretations of how people are expected to behave. For example, when driving along a road, people will look for signs and symbols to direct them, tell them how fast they should drive and when to stop. These signs are social constructions. They're made by people to help others understand social norms. This extends to body language, with people interpreting others' body language to assess how they're feeling or what they're thinking. There are also symbols in language as well, dictating the meaning and motivations behind people's actions. An example is in messages. People often use emojis to dictate whether they have enjoyed something, are happy, confused or suspicious. Furthermore, signs and symbols are used as a form of social control, warning us of dangers. But for interactionists, these signs and symbols are often limited to specific cultures and may be interpreted differently by individuals. People use their experiences to interpret them. One approach that examines the use of signs and symbols is symbolic interactionism. This approach suggests that people are not instinctive creatures, but look to interpret what is going on around them, drawing upon their own experiences to make sense of how to act. These interpretations are also dependent upon social contexts. For example, a crowd of people may indicate many different things are happening. People cheering would indicate it as some form of celebration or ceremony, whilst aggressive behaviours might indicate the potential for trouble. If the crowd is facing a speaker, it could be that they're listening to a speech or protesting against some form of injustice. With lights and music, the presence of a crowd could indicate a concert. Individuals look to interpret these social cues around them in order to assess what is going on and how they should react. Another aspect of interactionist approaches is what is called labelling theory. This suggests that individuals will react to being viewed in a certain way by others. People are often stereotyped in society based upon physical and social characteristics, and this leads to people forming judgments on that person. This process is called labelling. For example, pupils in a school may be labelled as intelligent or alternatively lazy. If this label is reinforced, the pupil may internalise that label, believing themselves to be what others have suggested they are. This leads them to act upon the label. For example, being labelled as lazy may lead to pupils to give up trying or be less motivated. This is what is referred to as a self-fulfilling prophecy, when a prediction about a person's behaviour comes true. As people observe the people living up to their label, this reinforces the original label and it becomes a master status, a status that overrides all other characteristics that the person possesses. In the case of our lazy pupil, this means that any effort they put in will often be seen as minimal. Labelling theory links quite closely to another idea put forward by interactionists, that of the looking glass self. Charles Cooley argued that individuals understand themselves through the way that other people react to them. He used the analogy of looking into a mirror and people seeing themselves the way they thought others saw them. For example, people believe they are attractive because others tell them so. 
They believe they are funny if others laugh. If people ignore others or react negatively, this has negative impacts on that person's self-concept, as they are likely to perceive themselves negatively based upon social reactions. This concept can explain how things like social media can influence our self-concept and self-esteem, as the more people who engage with posts people put up, the more we form an opinion of ourselves based upon their reactions. A further interactionist explanation of how we make sense of the world is offered through the dramaturgical approach. This theory put forward by Irving Goffman suggested that individuals are like actors, taking on different roles in different social contexts. Goffman suggests that in social spaces, individuals behave in such a way to gain social approval by being good actors. These roles vary and change depending upon the social situation we're in and who we might be interacting with. For example, in school, we may take on the role of a student, being organised, polite and inquisitive. But with our friends, that role may change. We may become more chaotic, use different language and be more relaxed. For Goffman, these different roles are front of stage. They are displayed when we're being watched by others. And it's only when we're not being observed that our true or authentic self is revealed, our backstage persona. That concludes this Tuesday's You Introduction to Sociology topic video looking at interactionism. Thanks for watching.